Hi everyone and welcome to your new coach training academy. I am excited to have you guys here. Excited to share just, you know, ideas and things that have worked for me and what I think are the most important things for you to really get started with and launch your beach body coaching business. Now, the one thing you will hear over and over again whether it's through me, other coaches, you googling, youtubing videos, and on the national wake up calls and any other training is talk of the four vital behaviors. Now, it used to be called three vital behaviors. It's now four vital. And I want to run through what they are and how you can implement those and need to implement those into your business every day. The first one is invite, invite, invite. And it's obviously repeated three times for a reason. It's important. You have to do it. And it comes in different forms. It's inviting you know, through your social media platforms to join you, whether it's a challenge group, the coaching opportunity, it's inviting publicly through that. It's inviting to be a friend, you know, and, you know, reaching out to new people, connecting to people through your Instagram, through your Facebook, through meeting them at, you know, your kids' birthday parties or whatever it may be, inviting people to be friends with you and start building that relationship. It's inviting them through personal messages. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, shooting someone a message that you haven't talked to since high school and say, hey, I'm launching a new challenge group. Do you want to join me? You, know, you want to build that relationship with them first. You want to, you know, build that trust and allow them to know that, like, you're committed to this, you're in it, and you're ready to help them any way that, that you can. So, you know, while an invite you know, through a message might start with a, you know, hey, how are you? You know, I haven't seen you since high school. What's new? Or, you know, I saw you just had a baby. How's motherhood going? Or, you know, I saw you and your family at church on Sunday. Whatever it is, it's connecting with them and, and beginning that relationship. And as you build that relationship and that conversation, you will get to a point where you're able to invite them to something, whether it's a free group, a challenge group, and or coaching opportunity, you know, listening in on a sneak peek or whatever it may be, you have to constantly invite new people every single day. And I know it can be weird to be like, oh, is this person going to think like I'm crazy for sending them a friend request? You're not, you know, like when you put it as like, you're just trying to be friends. You're just trying to be nice and connect with people. It's not so weird anymore. So that's it. Invite, invite, invite every single day. The second one is be a product of the product. Now this comes from our workouts. You know, like I, I like to think of myself as a forever challenger. You know, I feel like from my personal standpoint, if I didn't run a challenge group every month or multiple challenge groups a month, I don't think I would be able to on my own get up and work out every single day if nobody else was expecting it from me. I remain a challenger myself. I am always drinking my shake every day. I'm talking about it. I'm working out every day. I'm talking about it. And I'm doing those things that I expect my challengers to do because I want to show them it works. Following a program from day one to day 21 or day 30 or day 60, committing and following through on that program, not just the workouts, but the meal plan that goes along with it, you know, making, a, or yeah, the meal plan, and also making a meal plan every week. That's something else that it benefits you. Let's be real. Like making a meal plan, making a grocery list, buying the things on that list and cooking the foods that you said you were going to do. It saves you money. It saves you time. It saves you stress. But if that's what is so key to our success on from a health standpoint, then you can't just tell your challengers how to do it. You have to live it. So be a product of the product uh, through the challenge groups, through the coaching opportunity and share that. So you can do it. You can do it every single day and every week and make your plans and do stuff. But then you have to share that so that people know you're doing it too. And you can help them the way you've been helped, the way you got started or with the knowledge you have. So invite, 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 be a product of the product. Number three is personal development. I think this is a harder one for people who aren't into personal development to get started with. I know for me, I used to think like, the self-help section of um, a bookstore was like, I can't go there, I don't need that, I'm fine on my own. But the truth is, we should all be doing personal development because we live in a world where like, let's be real, it stuff happens. Bad stuff can happen. Things don't always go your way. But it, through personal development, it kind of helped me remain positive and to take things that may not be the best, that may not be, you know, the, the happiest moments and find that silver lining and be able to turn it into a positive thing, turn it into a learning experience and be able to express my gratitude and my blessings through 
that mindset and always, you know, it's kind of like my, my shift this last few months has been it could be worse. No matter what happens, it can always be worse. When you remind yourself of what you have versus what you don't, it really makes for a much happier life. And I'll tell you, I didn't have that attitude until I started and continued personal development regularly. The first book I recommend my new coaches start with is The Compound Effect. This book was the first book I had read, I think, since I had finished my CPA and stopped reading all my Becker CPA review course classes. Um, I didn't read. I'm not one to read books. I don't like to read. I was very open about that. But I knew when people told me this is a vital behavior of this business and you have to do it. It's going to help you succeed. I was like, okay, got it. I'll read. Um, and The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy really just talks about how the small things that you do every day while may seem insignificant at the time, they, they can compound into greater results through the consistency of your daily action. So if you haven't already, I recommend The Compound Effect to start with. Another great book after that is Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary, and I'm going to Gary Vanderchuk. Um, he was actually our guest speaker at Summit um, this past summer, this July. Um, but he, it's, a, it's an awesome book about social media and about how to share in the proper way so that you're not selling to anybody, but you're sharing what you have and how it can benefit other people. So, um, and I have another list, I'll put it in our team page of just all my personal development book recommendations for whatever area you struggle most with. Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy is another great book on time management. I actually listened to it. There's a YouTube. It's like, it's not even, it's a couple, two and a half, three hours maybe. So I, for a while when I was doing 21 Day Fix, a workout program that I'm very familiar with and I don't need to listen to and I don't need people, I don't need to, I just need to see it, I actually listen to Eat That Frog and I would do 30 minute increments throughout the week till I finished it and it's an awesome book. Um, so those are just a couple recommendations. If there's something specific you're struggling on, just let me know and I can help you pick out a book that might benefit you most. But that's number three. So we had invite, invite, invite. You're inviting people to join you on this journey. You are being a product of the product openly through your Facebook and you're sharing that through your Shakeology that you're drinking every single day without fail, through your workouts that you're starting and finishing and sharing your results and sharing how it's benefit, benefiting you and through your challenge groups. And then you are doing personal development and that personal development may start as a book. It can be, I did a lot of YouTubing and Googling and in my early coaching when I didn't have a lot of time to spend on my challenge groups, I would just Google and YouTube videos that would help me learn this business. So it can come in different forms, but I always recommend you have a book that you're reading so that you can kind of go to that and pick that up um, for a little pick me up, a little positive, positive start to your day. Um, and the last vital behavior that was recently added is recognition. Now this comes in different forms, like as you're a new coach starting out, Recognition might be recognizing your challengers and their, their success. And it can be through, you know, simple messages, you know, voice messages through the Facebook. Um, it's an awesome tool. I use voice messages, messages through text. If somebody else has, like I have an iPhone, if somebody else has an iPhone, I can just send them a voice message instead of texting it. It's another way just to show in your voice your excitement and your passion and be able to really talk to them. Um, so, and, and you can use that through your challengers. And then as you grow and you build this business, you can use recognition to recognize your team's successes, whether it's, you know, one of their challengers results or recognizing them for, you know, achieving a benchmark in the business, you know, advancing on the leadership ladder and, um, or, you know, them growing their teams, whatever it may be, you know, recognizing, because we all like to be recognized. They like that little pat on the back and it goes a long way and it really helps the overall morale of, of our team and of you yourself as you're building this business. So we want to recognize our achievements through various different formats and we'll talk more on that as you continue to grow and you'll hopefully see it through our team as um, you advance as well. So that's the four vital behaviors. That's what you need to do. That's the bread and butter of this business. Those are the things you do every single day. And if you can do them consistently, they'll help build you through an amazing business. So thanks for listening in and welcome to the team.